to take away with our families. Something that you can do with them creatively at home. How are you getting on with the uh, seven circles with God's creation? Genesis chapter 1 and 2. Did you have fun? Hopefully you did. I've pretty much finished mine off now, so um, it's a little bit fuller, I guess, now. Um, so I hope you've had fun. Now on day three, there were plants that were made and trees. And today we're doing an activity related to the leaves on trees. So I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing something that goes on windows. Uh, windows has been quite a big thing in our lockdown, hasn't it? It's a great way to connect with families or people walking along the street. Uh, it's a communication uh, place area. So, for instance, you may have seen teddy bears that are at our windows. You know, it's a neat um, item to have in your window, especially as people are walking past. I think it just shows that we're all together as a family, as a team, supporting each other. And we're putting up our teddies just to say that. It's pretty cool. I remember also sometimes seeing words on a window uh, and it said, be kind. I thought that's such a neat idea. What a cool message for people. Uh, and I thought, let's make some glass stained windows for our windows for something fun that people can see as they walk past or we can see it as a family when the sun shines in. Glass stains windows are to do with having little black lines uh, and then filled in with colour. And you see them on big churches. Uh, and you can see them in character homes as well. Pretty beautiful windows. So glass stained windows is what we're making today. So I just want to show you my first one. I talked about day three being uh, the day that God created the land and the plants and the trees. So I thought let's do a leaf, an autumn leaf, um, with a whole lot of colours. And I'll show you that at the window shortly. But I've uh, cut out the black outline uh, with scissors, then clear plastic, and then glued on colour. So it's pretty pretty amazing, isn't it? Especially with the light coming through. And you can see it really well on the floor as it reflects down as well. I also made a teddy bear, um, which is pretty appropriate for this time in lockdown. And um, you can see its eyes and its mouth and its nose all joined in one line down the middle there just to keep it all together. And then all the different colours. And then I've also made a kite. thought you might want to make a kite maybe. You could add some ribbon and some um, paper ribbon or whatever you've got at home. You might even want to uh, put wool onto the bottom of it uh, to create your cool kite. And some neat colours. You could do a robot or you could do a rocket. There's so many things. A butterfly. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a heart. So taking a black card, that's your outline like your lead the lead in the lead light window and I'm going to draw a uh, heart just a really simple shape which I thought would be nice and easy for us to do tonight and there's my heart then I create another line just really close which is like the piece of lead in a lead light window so just penciling that round just creating another line not too far away maybe one centimeter one and a half centimeters away and then I'm going to take a, a, a hole, make a hole into the middle of the heart. And in fact, actually, I might just add a couple of other lines, a bit more lead. So I'm going to go down to the centre. And then I'm going to come out. And then I might do another one on an angle, just to create some interesting pieces of lead. And then another one here. That's, that's going to be rather exciting sort of a window, isn't it? All right, so we're going to make our hole. I'm going to cut round our piece like so. I'm not sure if I'll make the whole thing here tonight because I don't think it'll um, be quick enough, but let's we'll see how we get on. So there's your first piece out, and then we're going to cover that with plastic in a moment. And then I'll just make your next one. And you might want some, some little scissors to do this with. And you might need an adult to help you out just a little bit too. Maybe if you're quite young, you might just get your adult to do the black part. And you can do all the cool colour part on the inside. Like that. And I might do one more piece. Just to give you the idea. Quite a thick 
carved, um, which is great for cutting and keeps it nice and stiff. And then I'll just show you the shape as well. I'll just cut that out. Just so then you can get the heart shape idea going. I might leave the other side of the heart for later. There we go, it's a nice thin lead-like black line going around there. Like so, then we're going to just pop some clear cellophane onto your heart. And that's where your colour's going to go. Like that, and pop that over there. I'm going to take that onto the back. And just do it like that. Just need to cut another little bit out just so it can go onto my black part. Like so. Oh, that's it. And then we're going to put on a bit of colour. Might just do some red tonight, just to give you an idea. So you cut some nice, beautiful little squares. Are quite handy. Just like that, into little squares or rectangles, however you want. And then all you do is grab some glue. Um, I'll just grab it, just wait there for one second. I'm going to pop some glue onto the clear, like so. Just a few dots. Just do it relatively quickly to give you the idea. Then I'm going to show you the windows, the glass stains up at the window, which is pretty cool just to finish off with. Here you go. It's really easy to pop those on onto the glue spots. And then you can add your yellow or your greens or blues, depending on whatever you've got at home. Maybe I'll put a nice big piece onto that last one. There we go. And then we're just going to show you, whoops, I'll just might sort of take that to the pull down. I'm going to show you it up at the window. And you can add wool to the bottom of it if you wanted to. You could add ribbon. Uh, lots of different colours there, depending on what colours you've got going on on your um, piece that you've made. So let's just go and wrap up the window before we finish. Heart one up just so you can see what I've done so far. Look at the light coming through there, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? And then you can carry on later on uh, the other part of the heart. Then we've got your, I might actually sell the tape up just so you can see. So we'll put the quote up first. Well, the sun's shining beautifully today, another gorgeous day. Then we've got our amazing teddy bear. Look at the light of that. Beautiful, we've been reflecting on my denim jacket. And then our beautiful autumn leaf to finish with. Look at the light shining through those, aren't they beautiful? And you can even often see it on the flooring as well. It's so beautiful. So have fun, have fun. Another tip from me tonight. Uh, have fun making glass stained windows and we'll see you next time. Thanks.